So in this video, we're going to talk about our top three obedience drills. Now, you can do all of these drills with or without a leash, with or without a remote collar. In these particular exercises, we will be using our remote collar just because that's how we train. But if you don't, you can still do all of these drills just the same. So the first one is what we call recall to place. It's a very common drill. It's a very common exercise uh, amongst especially remote collar trainers, uh, just because it accomplishes a lot. You're able to continue to work on off-leash training. You're able to work on recall. You're able to work on your stay commands, your obedience commands like sit, down, or place. So it's just an, a really good all-in-one exercise. This is what it looks like. So to do these exercises, we're gonna need a couple things. Again, without discussing the tools, if you are using a remote collar or if you're using just a long line with a, a slip lead or a martingale or a prong collar attached to your dog, it's all the same. So what we're gonna need are, are two cots at the opposite ends of the room here. You can use beds, you can use blankets. We just prefer these cots just because it's, it's a raised surface and it's very identifiable to the dog. So how I'm gonna set this exercise up is put my dog on place on one cot and walk to the opposite end. Again, if you're not using the term or command place, that's fine. Use whatever word you want to use with your dog. So I'm gonna walk to this end and all I'm gonna do is work on my recall. So come, I'm gonna work on place and then just really make sure I'm enforcing the stay component of the place command. Millie, come. Good. Place. Good girl. Millie, come. Good. Place. Good. So as we're working on this command, again, this isn't, this isn't how it started. This is more so as we're fine tuning and we're making those necessary steps to the final product. If I need to use my leash, if I need to close the gap a little bit more, if I need to do a little bit more leash steering, I will. Um, this is just a really helpful off-leash exercise. So again, your dog can be doing the same exact thing if they're dragging around a leash and you're just using verbal commands too. And along the way, I'm just making sure that, you know, obviously my dog is coming when called, staying put on the, the cot when I ask them to. This exercise is just kind of checking a lot of boxes in terms of, you know, what we call active training when they're in motion, following through with a particular command, and then passive training when they're having to stay put when things are going on around them. So again, this is just the exercise we call recall to place. So number two is the follow. The follow is a really helpful exercise. We practice it with our training dogs all the time just because it's so practical. So what the follow accomplishes or rather avoids is your dog running at you full speed when you call their name. Sometimes that's not really ideal. Maybe when you're bringing them out of the crate you're bringing them back inside after a potty break, those types of moments, or when you just like to maybe move them around the house with more control. The follow accomplishes just that. It's been super helpful for our training dogs, our personal dogs, and I know a lot of our clients use it at home. Aside from it being so practical, it's another opportunity for your dog just to kind of follow you more, getting into that mindset, but also just being more aware of their speed and their tempo and how fast or slow they're moving. So this is what the follow looks like. It's gonna be very similar to the first exercise we demonstrated, but the, the main difference is I, I'm closing the gap in terms of how far away I am from the dog when I'm recalling them. Millie, come. Good. Place. Good. Millie, come. Good. Place. Good. Millie, come. Good. Place. Good. So as you can see, the, the main differences are I'm moving my dog, I'm walking my dog from point A to point B rather than calling them from the other end of the room. Again, it's just really helpful. It's a, it's a more controlled exercise, but it's really productive and it's really beneficial for the dog to learn how to follow you whether they've got a leash on or not. Millie, come. 
Good. Place. Awesome. So again, this is just called the follow. So this last exercise is called the send. It's oftentimes the trickiest to nail with your dogs, um, but it's something we still work on with all training dogs just because it's very practical and uh, it, it's, it's a sort of a different take on our traditional obedience training. So think of this exercise is when, you know, your dog's not on place, but you need to send them to place because you need to answer the door, you need to tend to something else. It's just a good way to teach your dog to depart from you and go to a specific location while you kind of disconnect from them and do something else. So instead of starting my dog on place, what I'm actually gonna have them do is kind of be next to me. Again, you can have your dog on a leash, you can be using a remote collar, you don't have to be. All of this is just the same. This is just how we are training these exercises. So from here, it's just gonna be a simple send instead of recall. So what I'm gonna do is, Millie, place, good. So I'm still using my remote collar in this situation, but again, you don't have to be. Even more so what's important is how you're using your body to help communicate what you want from your dog. So I'm being very intentional with my movements. I'm opening myself up to the location where I want my dog to be. And I'm even going as far as almost pointing to them where they should be landing. Millie, come. Good girl. So even this way, I can even walk towards it a little bit. Millie, place. Good, there we go. So once my dog is on place and they're staying, now I can go do whatever it is I need to do. So again, just another practical use of how we can use our obedience commands in our daily lives, but also how we can start using traditional obedience commands in drills in more of a, a real world situation.